Hello guys, welcome to another brand new series. And in this series, we're going to be looking at building a um, React application with Redux and with React Router. And uh, basically what this application is going to do for us is it's going to help us manage our contacts. Okay, so and um, each contact is going to be unique to a specific user. All right, so what is going to happen right now is um, here we have login. Um, here we can go to register. And here we have login. So I'm going to log in with um, this guy and the password. This password. And now when I log in, we're going to see all the contacts of that user. So you can see all his contacts. Um, there's actually a pagination here. And we're going to see how we will build the pagination next and next. And um, aside from just the pagination, we also have the ability to add a new contact. So let me add a new contact. Let me call this um Bestovania, and um, let me call his last name Rastafera. And if I click on add context, it's going to tell me phone number is blank because phone number is actually required for any contact. And um, then I can add an email of him um, desktop at, um, let's say, at hotmail, hotmail.com. Right, yep, desktop at hotmail.com. And um, if we choose no profile image for this user and we click save, it's going to tell us contact has been saved successfully. Now, when I go over to view contact, you're going to see Bestovania, our new contact added to this particular user. And I can also edit this contact. And you can see all the contact details have been pulled from the DB. Um, you can see Bestovania, Rastafera, desktop, and his phone number. And um, we can also choose an image for this guy. So let me get a profile image for this guy. So Let's say I chose this image for him to be his profile. Now, when I click on edit, um, you're going to see content updated successfully. And then if I head over to view contacts, you can see his profile image has been changed. If I also go down to edit contact, you can see that um, his profile image has been displayed here whenever we want to come back and edit. And um, if I go to view contacts once again, I can just click on delete and it's going to prompt us ready which means say are you, are you sure you want to delete this contact now if i click on ok automatically it updates the um our virtual dom for us and deletes the contact so if i click on delete services and okay you can see it automatically updates the virtual dom and then deletes the contact and um if i log out and then i try to access the dashboard route um dashboard route you can see redirects us back to the sign in if I try again to access the dashboard route, it redirects us to the sign in. Okay, so, and um, let me just head back here. Here is our um, Laravel API, which we are going to also be building for this application. And um, here also is our React JS application. And um, we're going to be using Fetch API, which we did in our auth services. So you can see the right here that we are using. Okay, 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 you won't see it here. Let me go to HTTP services. And we're going to be using the Fetch API and not Axios for this video. And um, as well as using Redux and React Router. So that's it, um, guys. Um, in the next video, we're going to head straight up to setting up our application, basically scaffolding our Laravel application and as well as scaffolding our React.js application.